Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I want to break down the prim team I utilized to tackle Elaine Descendants. So, I played this with my LJ Kitty beforehand, so I kind of know the mechanics, which made this much easier to team build for. So, I'm just going to still keep using Uruka, because like she's like one of the few heroin cards I own. Her active skill gives me actual, you know, color absorption cancellation, which you do need for floor two, so she's just a great pick overall, and she actually does hit pretty hard. I think Athena didn't have double damage cap. She, I'm pretty sure she had something like leader swap, because it looks like she's always capping at one and a half. I, I don't think it mattered too much there. Sophie and Captain America, they have double damage cap. Prims have SDRs, so they don't get delayed, so I can keep chaining the active skill. Lord Biao's weapon, it's for the bl full bind immunity and the blind resist. I wasn't 100% sure again if I can get bound, so I just erred on the side of caution that I'm going to get bound, so I decided to take that because it was my best option for bind immunity plus a bunch of blind resist. Geed's weapon assist gave me the other 20% plus the team HP, so that worked out well. Mebius Brace, again, most of my assists are giving HP in some way, shape, or form or resist. It gives me the haste, so even though I only have 26 skill boosts, I transform immediately on floor one, and it gets going. Sophie is your 7x6 leader initially, but it could be Uruka, I guess, as well. But I like Sophie because it gives me a movement time buff, an RCV buff, a time buff, and the time buff was the important part there. RCV attack movement. Either way, it gives all the buffs and a 50% damage reduction shield, which is great because everything hits hard in this dungeon. Maybe Captain America should have had SDRs so they'd actually be charged up in time for the boss's delay, but like it, I had enough health to make it work. Now, that being said, let us enjoy the actual gameplay footage because, actually, I should mention that Athena is only brought along because her active skill is a delay. You want at least a three-turn delay when you're playing this dungeon on a base active. So... Athena works great because she actually hits hard, she has a delay, and she has a good number of skill boosts. But with that being said, let us enjoy the actual gameplay footage. Alrighty. Let's go. Should be more in the center of my screen. Okay, use the Mebius, use the swaps. That's a lot more combos than I thought there would be. Oh, this is the silly part again, isn't it? You consider it. Oh, should have put the green and blue slightly opposite way. I'm pretty sure it's dead anyways. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I might as well take a chance and see if I can finish it off. That's a lot of good colors. I like what I see. This should do enough. Outstanding. Look at you go. Alright, prims are up. Pretty primtacular. Okay, I'm gonna avoid the void. Pretty sure you're dead. Pretty sure you're dead. Like, that's a lot of damage all around. Okay. Alright, so, this is inconsiderate. You lose your inherits. So I'm gonna delay with Athena. 
And then just like kind of remove some of the negative orbs as I can. So this is also a good way to get my prims back up. I'm trying to take as long as I possibly can because it's pretty annoying. Okay, I could probably kill from here. On to the next floor. Movement hmm. time is halved. Okay, I'm gonna overwrite the movement time debuff. I got a shield as well, which is great. So, can I one shot this? I don't know. I only can get three numbers. I think I should use a prim. Just in case. Just in case. That's not how I do this. Fish. I don't have a way to do this properly, do I? Yes, I do. Oh, that's a blob of red that should not exist. Whoops. I think it's enough damage anyways. Should be enough. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of big numbers. It's enough. <laughs> On to the next floor. Alrighty, so I feel like it shouldn't take too much to hit their super resolve. Shouldn't. Shouldn't being the key word. Oh, my shield got delayed. That, or downed. It should be okay. <laughs> Keep saying should. I have one more turn. It'll come back up. Okay. I'm going to save Prim for the next turn, because it's just going to be better. I think this should hit Super Resolve, that's the key. I see enough people hitting big numbers. Uruk is putting in work, actually. Not dead, that's a good sign. Okay. So, I gotta make sure I hit big combos. I also have my beautiful shield here. I think this is almost as much as I can get, I think. Definitely enough combos. This should one-shot it, I feel. The answer I'm looking for is yes. Alrighty. Prim is good. When my screen works, this works well. Alrighty, so I feel like now... Oh, obviously I know where the dungeon has in store. It's definitely much easier to team build for this. And hello, QB companion. Welcome back to the stream. Alrighty, so... Once again, hopefully this video provides you with some insight as to what you can do to tackle Elaine Descended. Using one heroin card makes your stats much higher, but alongside of that, having a bunch of different types of damage reduction can be quite meaningful and just stack a lot of team HPs. Regardless of all that, hopefully you all have a truly fantastic day. I wish you less like in your own pad adventures and happy puzzling.